What's up guys, Justin Casey here from Elysium Risk Management and um, today we're going to take a real quick look at what we call photogrammetry, that's a tricky little word to say, photogrammetry and um, photogrammetry essentially is, um, it's the ability to take a collection of images and transport them or convert them into um, 3D generated, let's say, renderings, okay and the first time I actually came across um, pho pho photogrammetry being used was uh, was when I seen Bell and Cat's, um, Bell and Cat's movie or documentary about Bell and Cat. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Um, and as far as I know, now don't quote me on this, but as far as I know, they were working on an investigation in Syria. I believe it was Syria. I could be wrong. Like I said, don't quote me. Um, I believe it was in Syria where... Um, a shelling campaign took place on on a city on a town and what they were lucky enough to have um contacts on the ground there which collected drone footage drive uh, flying around uh, the, vicin the vicinity of the town and they were able to use them images then as a cross reference from the likes of google earth to how it is now and to generate that 3d rendering of the village to try identify the structural damages that took place um, and then cross-reference that to how it previously was documented on the likes of Google Earth um, to try to identify just how bad the shelling was. Um, it was a very, very impressive case. And I was very impressed by by when I seen this guy sitting on his desk with the computer and he had this whole 3D rendering of the village from the other side of the world. It was very, very impressive. So that's when I first dived into this. Um, so let's take a look. When it comes to photogrammetry software, there is many, many, many different options. It ranges from being free and open source to software and programs in the thousands and thousands of euros. Um, so it definitely does vary, but obviously, being an open source guy, I always prefer and like to use suitable programs um, that provide what we need especially if they are open source and they are free. So this program we're going to take a look at is called Meshroom. Let me close this down. And this is where you can find Meshroom. It's at alicevision.org. Then click on the Meshroom tab and you can download it there. For It's available for Linux and for Windows. Um, but let's dive back there to our Meshroom. So on our Meshroom, the way it works, what I really like about it is its usability, okay? You don't need to be spending months learning 3D um, generation, rendering, that kind of thing. You don't need to be a genius at, um, at any AI, anything like that. The program is very, very straightforward, which is really, really good. So over on the left, what we can do is we can drag and drop our images, okay? And these, these images is actually Mesh Room's demo images, and you can get these images. I will put a link in the description below. You can actually get these images from here, okay, from GitHub Alice Vision data set. And these are the actual damage demo images that Mesh Room use, okay. There is about 40 images, I believe. Okay, about 40 images. So once they're downloaded, you can download it as a zip file, extract it. And then once you have it, then you can literally just click, drag and drop into this panel on the left, which is nice and easy. And as you see, let's go down through them. Okay, this is our image viewer. Okay, so that's the first image. And as you can see, it's of a tree, a very unique style of tree because it kind of looks like a mouth with a tongue sticking out. So where they found this tree, I'm not sure. But... It's just focusing around that front and it's not looking at the back. But as we click down through them, let me widen this out a little bit. As we click down through them, we will see that it's looking at different angles. Okay, because we want to try to provide um, the software with as many different angles and views of our subject as we can. Okay. And once that's done, once we drop that in there, we can simply hit start and it will run itself. But bear in mind, it is a time taking process. Okay. And the time can vary greatly. And um, for me, I have a pretty powerful computer. But for me, these 40 images took about 20 to 30 minutes to generate. Okay. Um, so just hit start, go get yourself a cup of coffee or open up a new page and check out one of our other videos while you're waiting for that to be done. 
Um, but it will vary on a number of different factors in regards to the the quality of the images, how many images, um, of your GPU processor, which is our graphics processor unit um, of the computer, um, your CPU, okay, how much RAM you have, okay. So the better computer you have, obviously, the better, and um, because it is a hefty process. But once you hit start and that's finished, what you will see, okay, let's have a look, okay. We'll see here. So this is the, the viewing angle, okay? This is the viewing angle. These are all the pictures. They've identified what angle the pictures were taken at to be viewing, okay? And it has over 40,000 um, face sets, okay? So all of these little little dots, okay? There's over 40,000 of them, which is quite a lot, okay? So it's generated these data points and how they overlap and work within each other. Let me close this over. But once that's done, down here you will see load model. Once you click load model, then it begins to texturize the image. It begins to fill in the gaps and works out, obviously, the color scheme, the details, and begins to fill them in. So let's turn on our texturing. We're going to turn off our structure of motion, our grid, and our gizmo. Okay? And now when we look at this, it is very, very impressive. Look at the detail in this remember guys this is from a 2d image okay a 2d image to this now obviously there's going to be some parts where it was not photographed okay um like the back we, we didn't include the back but if we had the pictures of the back if we had the pictures of going up the tree and um, yes it definitely would okay but it's very 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 impressive obviously we want a high quality images Okay, the best quality images you can possibly obtain. And drone footage is really good. And the good thing about drone footage when we are using photogrammetry is that drones will automatically record GPS position. Okay, so we can then cross-reference that with mapping services exactly to the locations. Okay, which is really, really good. But the detail, the quality in this, and like I said, the user, the usability of this program drag and drop our pictures in hit start wait for it to be done and then load model and that's it anybody a six-year-old could do this okay look at the detail the quality it's amazing okay it's just it's one look at photogrammetry there's many different use cases for it but like i said the best one i have seen is um bell and cats investigation but dive in guys check it out go and download it i'll put the links in the description below Go and download it. Uh, you can also download the demo, demo images and give it a shot yourself. If you have a good camera, if you have a drone, get out there and record something. Okay, Go out and get as many different angles and pictures, etc. Um, as you can get. And then try to put it up yourself. Okay, see, see, Challenge yourself to pick a subject, pick a target, whether it's a building, a tree, a post box, whatever it may be. And to turn it into a 3D rendering. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Be sure to hit the little button. It should be down here somewhere. Okay, I'm hoping I'm getting this right. It should be down there, the little red box and subscribe to our channel. And check out some of our other videos. Um, if you are interested in learning more about OSINT, be sure to uh, drop me a message, leave a comment, whatever. Um, or check out euseca.com. Okay, have a great day guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Close doors, I'm a fool for your love.